Hello, welcome to the weekly economic snapshot. This week, we'll highlight some findings on income and educational attainment from the Census Annual American Community Survey. But first, this is our first snapshot since the 28th Annual UCCS Economic Forum. I want to express my gratitude for all the hard work behind the scenes by my amazing colleagues at UCCS, as well as for the great welcoming remarks by Mayor Mobilade and Chancellor Sobene, our fantastic keynote by state demographer Elizabeth Garner, and the excellent contributions by our panelists. It's an honor to be part of an institution which has been so well supported by the community for so many years. Thanks to our partners who make our work possible. If you missed it, don't worry, our friends at KOAA recorded the event and we'll have a link to the video available on our website soon. One of my favorite data sources is the American Community Survey, which is conducted every year by the U.S. Census Bureau. They recently released the results for 2023. These results highlight that we live in one of the more prosperous parts of the country. The government defines metropolitan statistical areas as urban areas with more than about 50,000 people. There are 387 in the United States, excluding Puerto Rico. The Colorado Springs Metropolitan Statistical Area consists of El Paso and Teller counties. In 2023, median household income here was 89,712. That ranked 48th out of the 387 metro areas and represented a significant increase over 2022 when it was 81,912. If we adjust for the effects of inflation, real median household income here increased by 4.7% in 2023. All of the top 10 metro areas by median household income were on the west or east coast and five of the top 10 were in California. If you want to find the metro area with the highest median household income, you need to know the way to San Jose. The survey also tells us that Colorado Springs ranks high in educational attainment, with 44.2% of the population that is 25 and over here having at least a bachelor's degree. That puts us 44th among metro areas. Boulder is number one at 65.4%. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.